you guys welcome welcome to audrey's reading area on this fun day monday yes i have another fun and exciting book that i'll be reading to you yes i do yes first click like click share share my video with everybody then go to youtube here at youtube you'll find audrey's reading area and what you do you see that little subscribe button smash it smash it touch it click it yes do it do that thing Click it. Shout out to my grandbabies, Korea, Sana, David the Third, and Kaden. I love you guys so much, and I miss you so much. Mwah, 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 mwah. All right, we're gonna jump right into this book. A pocket for corduroy. A pocket for corduroy. He got his little pocket here. Got a little pocket there on the picture by Don Freeman. I guess it's illustrated and written by. Don Freeman. <laughs> I'm throwing my little second pair of eyes right here. And a pocket for corduroy. And on the back, a pocket for corduroy. So, I'm going to jump right into this book and read, read, read. So, late one summer afternoon, Lisa and her mother took their laundry to the laundromat. As always, on such trips, Lisa carried along her toy bear, Corduroy. Hey, Corduroy. Yes. <laughs> the laundromat was a very busy place at this hour. Now, Corduroy. You sit right here and wait for me, Lisa said. I'm going to help with our wash. Hmm. Corduroy sitting there waiting for her. That's the laundromat. Corduroy waited patiently. Then he suddenly perked up his ears. Lisa's mother was saying, be sure to take everything out of your pockets, Lisa dear. You don't want your precious things to get all wet and soapy. Perked up his ears. Mm. Pockets? Said Corduroy to himself. I don't have a pocket. He slid off the chair. I must go find something to make a pocket out of. He said and he began to look around. He's like, wait, I don't have a pocket. You know, I want a pocket. He wants a pocket. First, he came to a pile of fancy towels and washcloths, but nothing was the right size or color. <laughs> then he saw a huge stack of colorful clothes in a laundry bag. There ought to be something in there to make a, perf make a pocket out of, he said. <laughs> Corduroy, you a hot mess, Corduroy. Without hesitating, he climbed inside the bag, which was filled with pieces of wet laundry. The dampness didn't bother Corduroy in the least. This must be a cave, he said, sighing happily. A cave. I've always wanted to live in a dark, cool cave. That's what bears do, right? But he's a teddy bear. Let's see what happens. When the time came for Lisa to fetch her bear, he was gone. <gasps> Oh, mommy, she exclaimed, Corduroy isn't here where I left him. I'm sorry, honey, said her mother, but the laundromat will be closing soon and we must be getting home. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Where, oh, where did Corduroy the bear go? Lisa was reluctant to leave without Corduroy, but her mother insisted. You can come back tomorrow, she said. I'm sure he will still be here. As they left, a young man wearing an artist bit beret was taking his wet laundry out of a bag, the very bag Corduroy had discovered. Before he knew it, Corduroy was being tossed together with all the sheets, shirts, shorts, and slacks. Uh-oh. She had to leave without Corduroy, and you know he's in that bag, right? Putting him in the dryer. Oh, uh-oh. Take a look. Putting him in the dryer. 
<laughs> Inside the dryer. That's what he says. But just as the artist was shutting the glass door, Corduroy tumbled out onto the floor. How in thunder did that bear ever get mixed up with all my things? The artist wondered. Poor Corduroy was damp all over. The least I can do for him is give his overalls a good drying, said the man thoughtfully. He unbuttoned Corduroy's shoulder straps and pulled his overalls in the dryer. Put his overalls in the dryer. Hmm. Corduroy grew dizzy as he watched, as he watched the clothes spinning around, but the artist became inspired. Hmm. So the artist became inspired. This would make a wonderful painting, he said, as he took a sketch pad out of his pocket and began drawing the swirling colors. I can hardly wait to get back to my studio. Look, he started drawing it. Artists can, can just make art out of anything, watching anything, right? Finally, the dryer stopped whirling and the man gathered up the clothes. Then he helped Corduroy put on his warm, dry overalls. All at once, the manager of the laundromat called, Closing time! Everybody out! Swan Flakes soap chips he had to get out. Corduroy was gently placed on top of a washing machine. I wonder who that bear belongs to, said the artist as he was leaving. Seems to me he should have his name someplace. He's too fine a fellow to be lost. Aw. As soon as the lights were turned off, Corduroy began his search again. He was surprised to see something white glowing in the dark. Maybe it's snow, he said excitedly. I've always wanted to play in the snow. That's the man leaving. And that's him seeing the swan flakes, soap chips. He thinks it's snow. Uh-oh, let's see what happens. He accidentally tipped over the open lidded box and suddenly he was covered with soft, slippery soap flakes. Gradually, Corduroy began to slip and slide. Oh, what fun, he said with a smile. I've always wanted to ski down a steep mountainside. Mm. Mm. Uh-oh. He landed paws first in an empty laundry basket. <laughs> this must be a cage, he said, peeking through the bars. I've never wanted to live inside a cage like a bear in the zoo. Oh, but by now Corduroy felt drowsy and soon he nodded off to sleep. Aw. Next morning, when the manager came to open the door of the laundromat, there was Lisa waiting. I left something here yesterday, she explained. May I look around? Certainly, said the manager. My customers are always leaving things. Mm -mm -mm. How cute. Lisa was searching under the chairs and in the back of the washing machines when she heard the manager call her. Is this what you're looking for, senorita? Looky, looky, looky. Is this what you're looking for? Senorita. Yes, yes, he's my best friend, shouted Lisa as she came running. She reached in and picked up Corduroy out of the basket. So this is where you've been, you little rascal, she said. It's time I took you home. <laughs> Aw, little senorita. Lisa thanked the manager and ran out the door and down the street holding Corduroy tightly in her arms. I thought I told you to wait for me, she said. Why did you wander away? I went looking for a pocket, Corduroy said. Oh, Corduroy, why didn't you tell me you wanted a pocket? Asked Lisa, giving him an affectionate squeeze. Aw. Corduroy wants a pocket. Let's see. 
That very morning, Lisa sewed a pocket on corduroy's overalls. Look at that. And here is a card I've made with your name on it for you to keep tucked inside, she said. I've always wanted a purple pocket with my name tucked inside, said Corduroy, as he and Lisa nuzzled noses. Aw, nuzzled noses. How cute is that? The end. Oh, A Pocket for Corduroy by Don Freeman. Oh, written and illustrated by Don Freeman. Aw, that is so cute. I love that story. I love the Corduroy stories. Well, all right, all right, all right. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for being here and listening to Marie Read Fun and Exciting Books Like This. And don't forget, yes. Don't forget, go to Audrey's reading area on YouTube. Smash that subscribe button for me. Punch. You're the one, too. Punch. Punch that subscribe button. Make sure you subscribe to Audrey's reading area. And, of course, I got to shout out my mom, who's always here watching. I got to shout out. Yes. And my cousin, Andre T. Thank you for being here, you guys. I got to shout out my cousin, Elite, and my friend, Victoria. They share my videos all the time. Won't you share my videos? Please share my videos. All of you guys have kids in your family that need to sit and listen or need to be encouraged to just pick up a book and read. I'm just saying. So share my videos. Go to YouTube. Go look for Audrey's Reading Area and smash that subscribe button for me. See you tomorrow. I'll be live, L. I V E. I'll be live at eight again, and I will see you soon. Audrey's reading area.